Love Hip Hop Miami Season 1 Episode 5 Saints Sinners So you got Bobby with Tim <clears throat> You got Jeffrey with his friends Helen and Ebony Long story short Bobby wants to apologize to um, <clears throat> Jeffrey And when Jeffrey mentioned how he was with Malik His friends just like So you want to get back with him when he did you the way he did You blocked you on social media This that and third but yes it does Steph is doing a um, glow and dark video shoot. She gives Veronica the lowdown on what happened. I think like this episode was just very, very toned down. So I think I might be able to like you know slide through this real quick. Gunplay <clears throat> pretty much lets her know that uh, his fan Stro um, lost his life to gun violence two hours before his birthday. He questions his fame and wants to give up. Kiara is trying to reach him. But it feels like, you know, she's getting nothing. And, I mean, I can understand what he's feeling. Like I said, I actually lost a cousin to gun violence. Um, he was set up. Ain't no other way to say it. He got shot, I think, somewhere between 9 and 13 times. Like, flat out in the fucking chest. So, <clears throat> I do know how it is to lose our family to uh, gun violence. And, I mean, hell, even recently... Like when I had to, you know, do my job and everything, like the very first day of the exercise, actually before the exercise, found out that uh, one of my old friends from basic um, had a heart attack and was in the hospital. And I'm saying like, okay, he's going to make it through. And on uh, X1 is when I saw on Facebook that he had a second heart attack and passed away at the age of 27. So I know how it is <laughs> to deal with death, obviously dealt with a lot of it and especially when it's family and friends and whatnot and how it can sometimes take you off your game and I take it that uh, Gunplay probably <clears throat> has not dealt with it a, a lot or maybe this is like one of the first and it's kind of hard to navigate especially when you never really dealt with it you know or maybe even suppressed I don't know so Don and Trina go to Joy Joy is a stylist. Don brings up uh, her visit at uh, Trick's place, but Trina don't know about it. Trina wants to play mediator and uh, set Trick up. Long story short. Scrappy and Bucky. <clears throat> Scrappy wants that old thing back, but he wants to leave things in the past. He don't want to address the bullshit that he did to her. Scrappy lets her know that you know you are the only one who understands me. She asked him, like, you know, would you support me, you know, if I was with somebody? And real quick, his whole thing is he wants her to support him no matter what, but he not going to support her if she would another dude. Typical fucking nigga. Like, it is what it is. <clears throat> Malik. Hold on, wait. Malik meets up with Prince, kind of clear the air about what happened at the party. And, 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 and I think the first view I was doing out of the series of 15 that I'm doing right now. I told y'all I'm not here for Jeffrey or Malik. On some real shit, I don't agree with violence, but hey, Jeffrey put himself in a situation to get the shit slapped out of him. That's all I'm gonna say. <clears throat> I don't like Malik because regardless of how you feel about somebody, the fact that he continues to call Bobby everything but Bobby. A creature, a thing, even calling him this to fucking Prince. But he comes out to Prince. Prince pretty much is like, okay, yeah. It ain't finna change our fucking relationship, but it ain't finna change us making money, getting money and shit, so it is what the fuck it is, you know? So, and Prince even said his confession, like, he kind of felt that he was, but I mean, it doesn't change anything between them. Uh,. And then he says he would support him, you know. Oh, no, nope, wrong person. Malik uh, doesn't want it to leave the table. But he even questions, like, damn, I probably shouldn't have told him. Veronica and JoJo meet up. Veronica says that, you know, she instigated things. JoJo tells her what Amara said. I got to give it up to Veronica. Veronica was like, yeah, I said that shit. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't be mad at her for that. Like, at least she owned that shit, you know. Veronica gets loud and Jojo says something where I kind of get what she was going with it but it was kind of eh because she's like I'm a millionaire I come for money 
it will cost me money to hit you. And you ain't got shit to lose, so I'm not going to do it. Now, I will say Veronica baited her to what I'm going to get to momentarily, but Veronica didn't want it with JoJo. And I only say that because, again, people know who they want to pull it with. Veronica had no problem with getting up in Amara's face, but she had a problem with even attempting to step to JoJo. And you know, Veronica got off at the mouth. She baited JoJo. JoJo gave in to it and doused her ass with, you know, a motherfucking drink. And she's like, ain't nobody fucking scared of you. But you can see that <clears throat> Veronica did not have no, you know, rah rah about her to try to get at JoJo. So that's one of those ways it's like, JoJo, you kind of fucked up because you let her pull you out of character. But at the same exact time, I respect Veronica for, for sending her shit. But you can tell Veronica they want it with her. What else? <clears throat> so Gunplay and Scrappy. Gunplay rehashes everything that's been going on with him. Even talking about, you know, music deadlines and whatnot. Scrappy is starting to see that something is going on with Gunplay and that he is disturbed. And I want to stop here to say. A lot of the times. Not all the time, but a lot of the times. When people are depressed, when people are suicidal, when people are going through things, there are fucking signs. We often see the signs. We do. It's when we choose to be oblivious to the obvious. And Scrappy sees that something is wrong, but he lets the shit go by the wayside. We need to stop doing that. I've said this on a video a while back, but to anybody... Even, especially if you ain't going through anything let me say this and please hear me out if you ain't going through nothing right now look back on the hardest thing you ever went through try not to dwell there because you don't want to be stuck in that place but think about the hardest thing you ever went through <clears throat> and whether it was a spiritual being a person or whatever think about what brought you through it and remember that so the next time you are going through a hard time, even if it's worse than what you've ever been through, remember that you went through something either just as bad or worse and that you were able to come through. So if you was able to come through that, whatever the fuck is standing in front of you right now, you can get through that. Remember that. Because when you allow yourself to like forget everything else and you can't see the forest for the trees is when depression happens is when suicidal thoughts come when drug abuse and everything else happens and we don't need to fall into that we really don't I just hit myself in the face <laughs> coming off my soapbox getting back to this Kitty and Nikki stop by Nikki uh, <clears throat> brings up Kiara and Gunplay dips out <clears throat> cause his whole thing is he told her he had the studio he wanted that shit to stay that way Scrappy gonna sit here and play with the duo and see if it do what it do. Jeffrey and Bob meets up. It's one of those where it's, you know, hollow, hollow, but long story short, Bobby apologizes. Jeffrey said he forgives, but never forgets, which I don't, I'm not against that. But Jeffrey used this as the perfect out because he was looking for an out, and that was his out. And, you know, Jeffrey breaks down. Veronica, I'm not, not Veronica, Kiara <clears throat> is, you know, going through the motions, find a hundred dollar bill that was laced with a substance. So now she knows that, you know, gunplay, you know, it has fallen back into drugs. Um, Malik and <clears throat> Jeffrey meet up. All I'm going to say is Malik told Jeffrey he came out of the prince. I don't give a fuck about his tears. I don't. I don't. I don't. Especially when you sit here and you want to compare, you know, saying that, oh, is he more feminine than me? But, bro, you, you got some ways about you. You want to sit here and call him a fucking thing. A creature and all this other shit being so fucking disrespectful. And the only reason that Jeffrey is there with you because Jeffrey sees a fucking come up. Because I get... Jeffrey's a fucking opportunist. Malik ain't shit. Fuck them in a storyline. I don't care if I don't see that shit again. Trick and Trina, <clears throat> um, Joe and Don, 
Trick got ambushed, he felt ambushed. She asked Joy what she wanted. She said she wanted out. Trick said he can give her what she wanted, and then he fucking leaves. Because it ain't shit doesn't need to be said. Because Trick ain't trying to give her a storyline. Trick didn't already said they going to talk about this shit on his fucking time. Because you can't pop up after so many fucking years, and now all of a sudden you it don't even work that way. So that's all that is. I got one more review, and then I'm done for the night, Little Women Atlanta.